Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, start of public media and once for a language news hour. I'm Chenya Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. The Hungarian EU Commissioner designate was heard today in the European Parliament. Oliver Varhei would be responsible for enlargement and neighborhood policy in the new European Commission. During his hearing, he talked among about other things, starting the accession talks between Albania and Northern Macedonia as soon as possible. In addition, he also discussed how migration cooperation with southern countries should be strengthened. Olivier Varhai arrived with a smile to the Foreign Affairs Committee meeting room in Brussels on Thursday morning. The hearing of the Hungarian diplomat nominated for the post of Commissioner for Enlargement and Neighborhood Policy took more than two hours. The Western Balkans, including Northern Macedonia and Albania, have clear aspirations to join, said Olivier Varhai, stressing that he will work as EU Commissioner to start ascension negotiations with the countries concerned as soon as possible. Major European leaders went to North Macedonia before the referendum on the Prespa Agreement and promised that if it passed, accession negotiations would start. The Hungarian diplomat, who would be responsible for the Union's neighborhood policy in the future, called Turkey an important strategic partner of the Union. The committee's socialist, liberal and Green Party members accused the Hungarian candidate of being the leader of Hungary's permanent representation in the EU when it came to defending Hungarian laws that they considered to be illegal. Jobbik Smarton Gyöngyesi debated the designates, independence from the governing parties. Olivier Varhai made it clear he is not a member of any political party. Then emphasized, as a commissioner, he will represent the union and will not accept orders from any government. My observation, Mr. Vahey expressed a clear commitment to close and effective cooperation with the Parliament and pledge an active presence in the Committee on Foreign Affairs in the future. This is very important, of course, for us as members of this committee. According to leaked news, Olivier Varhai has not yet won the support of two-thirds of the committee members. So the Hungarian candidate has to answer supplementary questions in writing. The Hungarian economy strengthened by 5%. This is due, among other things, to the impact of recent governmental measures, which are felt in almost every sector of the economy. With this, the third quarter performance of the Hungarian economy is still at the forefront of EU comparisons. This is the National Instruments Hungary factory in Debrecen. They produce more than 6,000 types of products, such as hardware, as well as measurement and automatic instruments. The investment was supported by almost 7.5 million euros. 200 new jobs were also created at the service center. The government expects 2019 to be a record-breaking year in terms of investments, which was said at the inauguration. Until this point in the year, more investments have arrived to Hungary compared to last year altogether. Around 4.4 billion euros worth. There has never been such a volume of investments with regards to Hungary, Peter Siarto said. These investments also contributed to the 5% increase in the performance of the Hungarian economy in the third quarter. The finance minister said that the outstanding results are due to several factors. Government programs, two for wages and employment, the third for greater access to export markets and ultimately better use of EU funds, are behind this 5 percent, the finance minister said. The 5 percent increase in the third quarter is the highest in the European Union. This is more than three times the average of the EU. The Prime Minister made it clear on Thursday that the government wants to make this difference stable and lasting. Since 2010, gross national products have expanded by more than 30 percent. Hungary still needs an anti-migration policy, as Hungarians can only be replaced by Hungarians, said Viktor Orban at the 9th Hungarian Diaspora Council's plenary session. At the annual meeting of the Hungarians living in the diaspora, the Prime Minister said that a country with a dwindling population cannot shake the illusion that it will be able to solve population decline without its own efforts. Nekünk továbbra is bevándorlás ellenes politikára van szükségünk. 
The Hungarian government is against migration, as immigration is not a solution to demographic challenges, Viktor Orban said at the meeting of the Hungarian Diaspora Council. As the prime minister put it, we should not choose the easy solution, because it will lead to a bad situation. Instead, we should remind ourselves that we are in trouble and we must act for ourselves. Hungarians can only be replaced with Hungarians. This is our perception. And this is why we are against migration. Because we don't want Hungary to be caught in the illusion that it can solve population decline without their own contributions to the cause, Viktor Orban said. He emphasized the government will continue to fight against migration because, as he put it, this global phenomenon will stay. Africa is barely moving. The prime minister also said that those in favor of migration accuse Hungarians of having hearts of stone. But it must be said, Hungary is a good country. Hungarians are good people. They are willing to do good, but help must be delivered locally, as opposed to bringing trouble here. Viktor Orban also spoke about how we must stop population decline, but that this can only be done through long-term family policies, the results of which will only be felt in about 10 years. He also announced that next year, a second Family Protection Action Plan will be created. Viktor Orban noted that some of the most important commitments of this government cycle concern the poor, as well as the integration of the Roma community. Prime Minister said that Hungarians living in the diaspora, approximately 2.5 million individuals, predominantly reside in the United States and in Canada. The formation of an emigration and diaspora centre is in the making, where, among others, the materials and archival documents brought home through the Mikesh program are gathered and shown to those interested. This is what was discussed by the Deputy Prime Minister. Joël Chamien announced the government will launch a new scholarship program, which will serve as an extension of the Stipendium Hungarian program. This is specifically geared to address Hungarians from the diaspora, from the United States and the Western world, namely second, third and fourth generation emigrants, to come to Hungary to learn at Hungarian universities, Joël Chamien said. The proposal this issue concerns will be brought before the government shortly. Furthermore, the cabinet will provide the monetary sources needed for the program. We are in a good period of Hungarian-American relations. This was said by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade at the 30th anniversary gala of the American Chamber of Commerce. Peter Siarto added that the governments of the two countries have very similar views on challenges of global politics, prioritize the security of their citizens, place families at the heart of society, and attach importance to the protection of Christian communities. As he put it, economic cooperation between the two countries has been a success story for the past 30 years. You American companies have a significant role in the success story of last year's when we always set a new record when it comes to investments and exports at the end of each year during the last five years. Without the American investors, without the second largest investing community here in Hungary, we couldn't have reached this for sure. 1,700 US-based companies employing 105,000 Hungarians played an enormous role in this success story. It's not an accident. Hungary wants to host one of the biggest events in the world of theatre, the International Theatre Olympics in 2023, announced the director of the Budapest National Theatre in St. Petersburg. Attila Vinyansky told M1 News after the closing press conference of the 2019 world event, Hungary's theatrical performance and richness of values make it suitable for hosting the event. He added that if our country gets the right to direct, then the 10th MITAM or Modach International Theatre Meeting could be the 10th International Theatre Olympics. A special exhibition titled Moments 3 was opened in Yula from the works of the last three years of painter Gyur Chuta's life. The artist's work is incredibly diverse and his style is truly special. The frame of his now exhibited images is an abstract work of art incorporating foreign elements and collages. He makes figures of wood, lace, metal, which makes the meaning of the pictures clear. The exhibition will be open to the public at the Erke Ferenc Cultural Centre until the 3rd of December. 
pictures of songbirds, herbs, trees and bushes decorate a special fence in Peach. 89-year-old Karol Schmidt has been living in Peach for 32 years. He wanted to show everyone the richness of his beautiful town and area, creating a truly unique fence in the country. Most of the creatures he drew by hand and made descriptions for each animal. Ever since the completion of the fence, people come from all over to see his marvellous work. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hunger Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.